when we look at Mirantis, of course, I can go all the way to OpenStack. And now OpenStack is also part of, you know, uh, this. So it's like the umbrella is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, so if you look at the old days and new days, you know, one of the biggest challenges folks face and of course, the political landscape is also changing, running the AI workloads efficiently. So talk a bit about what role can Mirantis play in that space, especially when we look at the global market. The key play for Mirantis there right now, and where we're able to help our customers grow faster is all of these new AI workloads are dependent on very, very specialized hardware, specialized networking, complex RDMA networking, so InfiniBand networking. You know, if you're in the NVIDIA space, the NVLink systems, um, this is all massive, massive levels of complexity. And to a certain extent, infrastructure people have started to disappear out of our, out of our industry. A lot of people in the application space, you know, we, we often say developers and data scientists don't care about infrastructure. And we see this time and time again. We are infrastructure specialists. This is what we've been doing for the last, well, we, the company's been incorporated for 24 years. You know, for the last 24 years, we've focused on infrastructure. We came through the OpenStack days. We have that experience of doing it at scale. We're solving these problems of running these complex systems at scale to enable the core platforms that support the complexity of AI workloads. We also strongly believe that the future of AI is a lot of traditional logic-based applications are gonna disappear. It's gonna be machine learning, lots of small model-based machine learning, and LLMs, of course, the big, big models doing you know, all the language interface, the human interface to the systems. That is a lot of complexity. So layering up the stack, we're, we're solving for the infrastructure management problems, the networking problems, the resource access problems. GPUs are still scarce resources. Despite you know, the big companies buying 30,000, 100,000 GPU cores, those are getting sucked up by you know, the open AIs and people like that. So if we can make it easier for companies to get access to GPU resources globally, both their own, make it easy for them to serve them, consume them, but also make, through our open ecosystem, provide access to GPU resources from the other smaller cloud providers and larger cloud providers. That way we're accelerating growth in that space. The second layer that we're really focusing on, is, again, the partnership with G-Core, um, we have taken their inference layer, their inference management layer that allows for the distribution of language models and machine learning models very, very simply. So removing the learning curve um, and layering that on top of our platforms and making it simpler for you to access machine learning. 